Mike came and I was speaking to you. Did you, did you understand your prophecy or you, you did not? You said that I'm going through the same things my father did when he was young and that you need to pray for me because you saw like chains around me and I'm trying to move forward in life, but that's like holding me and you need to pray for me for, for me to receive break, breakthrough. You understood it? Yes. Okay, I thought you did not. You understood it. You I, have... it, it was loud. I can, it was hard hearing you. It was what? It was hard hearing you. The music was loud. It was loud, okay. But you got it. You got yeah. the message. Yes. You got the message. You know, and what I told you is going to happen. Okay. You see, we have a lot of people who they don't know why. You know, there are people who are living, who, who to them, they may not see there's a problem, but there is. To be comfortable does not mean it's your destiny. Some people are living comfortable, but that's not their destiny. The fact of a home, you are sleeping, and you have one car, and you are, that does not mean that's your destiny. Where's your father? Who's my father? Where is your father? Uh, he must be at home. All right. I think so. Mm -hmm. you, you know, I'm so much interested with your father because... I see a background of your father. Okay. Is there anything like Antonio or something? That's my dad. That's his name. His name is Antonio. Mitchell! Let me write something. Give me a pen. I want to write something for you. Just, just give me a paper. Come, just come in. It's just a greeting you. <laughs> this man, there is God will use this man to be a foundation to set free the whole family, the whole family. <laughs> Are you not surprised what I just told you now? Yeah. You're surprised. <laughs> or oh, what I wrote on the paper. You're surprised, right? That too, yeah. And it's true, right? Yes. True. Now, as Lewis comes up on the stage, for those of you who, do, who, do, who doesn't know who this man is, he's a prophet of God, and God uses him mightily in a detailed word of prophecy. And on Monday, he spotted Lewis, and he started to prophesy to him. And now we want to hear from Lewis, the confirmation, and what did he tell you? Yeah, so uh, on Monday, um, I was sitting on the pews, and he came up to me. Uh, and he said, uh, as I'm walking towards you, I see there's uh, chains around you, um, symbolizing that you're trying to move in life forward, but there's something holding you back. He said that I could see in your, in your family um, similar things are going like this, like people try to move forward uh, financially or just in general trying to succeed, but there's always something holding, holding us back. Um, he said that my, what I'm going through right now is kind of like what my dad was going through when he was, when he was young. Um, he said, so what I need to do, I need to pray for you right now, um, for you to receive breakthrough. And as I'm praying for you right now, I can see the chains falling off your body. And there's going to be different, a lot of different doors opening up with a lot of different opportunities for you coming up. So. so what he said that your father went through the similar things when he was younger, can you confirm that to be true? Uh, yes. Well, n now that I think about it, I mean, that whole night I was just thinking about what he said. Um, now that I think about it... Um, yeah, I see my, like my family, my, my siblings, they receive like either certificates or degrees and nothing happens with them um, or they try to get jobs and it doesn't happen. Um, and me personally, myself, um, I try to apply for like um, different positions or promotions and I, and I don't receive them. And just like I said, I ask myself why or I'm just probably unlucky, but it's true. You know, there's always something trying to hold you back, you know, in, in spiritual life. It's not just of coincidence, but Sometimes you don't know why, why things happen, but it's, it's spiritually. And you need to know and be aware of those things to fight against it and be aware and know what you're trying to fight against. 
Yeah, and he also said that you you became you're gonna become like a foundation for your family to receive a freedom. Can you confirm that to be true? Since you're actually the first one who gave your uh, your life to Jesus Christ out of your family. Yeah. So um, as many of you guys know a little bit about me, um, we we were raised uh, in Catholic religion. Um, so I was I'm the first one, you know, to to receive Christ and be a follower, and that's one of my prayers ever since I came here was to to bring my family to Christ and see him, hearing that from him. I mean, I didn't know, I never talked to him about this or anything like that. So having him telling me that, that was pretty cool because that's always been one of my prayers to see my family come and receive Christ. Amen, amen. Let's put our hands together for God. And we also saw in a video that he asked for a piece of paper and a pen. Can you tell us what did he write and told you afterwards? I don't think you guys are ready for that. You guys want to hear it? Uh, it, 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 was, it was something simple. He just uh, wrote down April, and he's like, what is this? And it was my birth month. So I thought that was pretty cool. So. Awesome. God knows the details of your life. Amen? Amen. Amen. Uh, Luis, do you believe that through this prophecy uh, that God sees you and you will receive a breakthrough and doors will be open to your family and to your personal life? Oh, yeah. Mo most definitely, you know, I'm going to um put it to test i don't know i guess you could say that uh, there, there's going to be things coming up forward that i'm looking forward to and i know now what what was holding me back and now i'm going to pray for for it to for me to receive all these breakthroughs and i do i do believe that's going to happen amen amen let's put our hands together for god thank you louis so much thank you